Hey guys, it's Marvi and I am back with another video. It is the end of a month, beginning of a new month, so you know what that means. This is an empties video. These are my favorite videos to do, so this is going to be my November empties. I wish I could have emptied out more than I was able to empty out this month. This is not my most productive month on this front, but it has been a difficult month for me personally, so I'm not surprised that uh, I wasn't able to empty out as much as I would like to, but I have a lot of makeup and skincare, relatively a lot of makeup and skincare that is very, very close to emptying out. So that is all stuff that will probably be in the December, December empties video. So let's get started. Um, most of it is some hair stuff and um, yeah, a lot of hair stuff actually. So. Um, of course, I have some home stuff. This is my soap from Bath & Body Works. This is the Lavender Vanilla. This one was in our guest bathroom and it was there for like a year. It took forever to empty out because, um, yeah, no one ever uses that bathroom unless we have guests, which isn't often. So anyways, finally we emptied it out. Um, my boyfriend is not the biggest fan of of lavender so i don't think that we will repurchase this again but i just purchased the winter scent from bath and body works and i put it in that bathroom and it is, smells so good i love it i think it's perfect for this time of year so yeah i don't think that i'll repurchase that one specifically but you guys know on this channel i love bath and body works next is no surprise my favorite mouthwash of all time this is the therabreath um, I feel like this is like an every empties video. I just love TheraBreath. I love it so much. Whenever I find the big size, I'll get it. Um, otherwise, I'll always just get the regular size. But I love it. It's my favorite mouthwash ever, ever, ever. Okay, staying with that, I did empty out this toothpaste from Crest. Um, this one sucks, the Luminous Purple. It reminds me of that toothpaste made for kids like literally it's purple and it just has that like weird taste. I hated it, it was horrible. Um, what else? I also emptied out my Sugar Bear Deep Sleep um, 5-HTP gummies. You guys know how much I love these. I actually have not repurchased them and I don't think that I will because I am trying the Viral Magnesium um, Powder Supplement, like that drink mix. Um, that's really popular. I think it's from the company Moon Juice, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying that one right now. Um, I have some mixed reviews on it. Um, so let me know down below if you'd like me to do like a deeper video on supplements or things like that. I'd be happy to do that. But um, with that being said, I don't think I'll repurchase this because I am working my way through that. And that would just be like way too much um, at nighttime to take both. Um, so yeah. Okay, this is not technically an empty, but this is my little e.l.f. sponge. This is the e.l.f. concealer sponge. This is like five, six dollars at the drugstore or Target. Um, I love this sponge in particular. It's my favorite sponge because of like the size of it. It's like perfect. And even when you wet it and it gets a little bit bigger, it's not too big. I feel I find that the beauty blender is like too round. Like, yes, it has the little point, but it's like too round. And so I feel like I don't make enough use out of it because I'm only able to use that smaller part with the point. Whereas this one doesn't get as round right here. So it's like I get more use out of it. Anyways, it was time to change. I already repurchased a new one. I'm already using the new one, but... Yeah, I thought I'd throw that in there because it's really honestly like my favorite sponge and it's like five, six dollars. Okay, uh, next, sticking with hair. This is from Living Proof. I just emptied this out today. This is the Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo and this is the little travel size. Um, I've used the full size of this as well. I don't love it, honestly. Um, it is just, it's mid Honestly, it's not that good. I don't really like the smell. I don't think that the white disperses into the hair as well as it should for the price point. So I don't really care for it, to be honest. And I don't think I'd repurchase it, even in a travel size. 
Um, but now onto my favorite dry shampoo of all time, you guys know, is from Vegamore. This is the Grow Dry Shampoo. I already repurchased a new one. If you saw my Sephora VIB sale unboxing video, um, which is actually my highest viewed video on my channel, which is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I already purchased another one. I am currently working through that one and I love it. This is the best dry shampoo. I will sing it from the mountaintops. So yeah. Okay, sticking with hair, I finally emptied out my little Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray in the travel size. Um, I love this product. I purchased it thinking it was the only size. It's not the only size. As you saw in that unboxing video, I was able to get the big size and another travel size in a little gift set. So I am working through that as we speak. Um, but I did empty this out. I love this. It is such a good product. It really, you really see the difference in your hair after you use it as opposed to not using it where your hair, at least my hair is like, not as shiny, it's it's just not as sleek, not as shiny when I don't use it. So I really, really like this product and I'm so happy I was able to get that gift set because I've already repurchased it. Okay, um, last but not least for hair is my hair mask from Trader Joe's. This is the Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Mask. Now, I have been so excited to talk about this hair mask because, first of all, it's like four or five dollars at Trader Joe's, okay? So I just kind of bought it to try it with no expectations. Again, it's four or five dollars. And I was like, meh, let's just try it. And, you know, it's shea butter and coconut oil. So I kind of was like, I don't know how effective this is going to be. I don't know if it's going to really moisturize the hair. Like, what's, what's it going to do? This is probably one of the best hair mask hair conditioner products i've ever used and i can say that like with my whole chest it is one of the best hair masks i've ever used okay it is so good it leaves your hair so silky so smooth it's helped with frizz it is fantastic my favorite part about it is the texture because it, it really literally is just shea butter and coconut oil. So at first you're kind of like, is this gonna work? Like it's so like, it almost looks like, like lard that you cook with. That's what it looks like when you first like squeeze it out. But once you put it on your hair and you just give it a minute and then you wash it off, your hair is so soft, so silky, so smooth. It really, really has helped me with frizz. Again, amazing, amazing product. It has vitamin E in it as well. And if you look on the ingredients, like it just has a ton of good stuff and it is just fantastic. The only thing is it's extremely thick, very, very thick. So it's really, really hard to like squeeze it out of here. Um, but yeah, such a good product. I have had the Way hair mask for um, like thin hair. I've had that one kind of in the in the waiting in the waiting wings, you know, waiting to be used. So I'm working through that one right now. I will give you my thoughts on that one as well very soon. Um, but this this is a game changer for the price point and how effective it is. I am literally shocked. So once I finish that way one, I actually did buy another hair mask um, during my Black Friday shopping from Ulta. So I will talk about that. Stay tuned for my you know, unboxing and haul videos that will be coming up on that. Um, so I did buy that one because I wanted to try it, but this I think is gonna be my staple like from here on out. Such a good product, such a good product. Okay, now some skincare. Um, I ran out of my La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water Spray. You guys know how much I love water sprays. They're my version of ice rolling in the morning. They wake me up. They refresh my face. I spray them throughout the day if I'm here all day. And they're just fantastic. I really, really like thermal water sprays. This La Roche-Posay one in, in particular is one of my favorites. Um, it, I feel that it doesn't, because when you put water on your face, like it'll dry out your face. So I feel like this one, my skin is less dry than it would be with say the Evian one. Um, I don't know if it's because if it's like the thermal spring water or whatever, but anyways, I really like it. I've already repurchased it. I'm waiting for the order to come. 
um but yeah i'm so excited to purchase it i will always purchase this one i think i like that one and i like the avine or avine avine i don't know i think that's a french brand as well that one has a thermal water spray that one's really good but i think la roche posay is my number one okay another skincare product that i emptied out is this from dr D dennis gross this is the alpha beta extra strength daily peel this comes in a set of five again if you watch my sephora unboxing video i did repurchase this um so i have that in my medicine cabinet ready to go i don't use this very often which is why i buy this little set i never buy that huge one maybe i should because i do use them but whatever i really like it this last time that i used it to empty this out like my last pack it left my face so red and my boyfriend was looking at me like are you okay your face looks burned and i'm like just give it like 30 minutes it'll be fine and sure enough the redness went down my skin is very reactive sometimes um so the redness went down and then the next day i just had like brand new baby soft skin i mean this is a miracle product but it's intense like you have to proceed with caution and you have to give your skin time to really get used to it it is very intense it's a very intense product but it is worth it because of the results like it's extremely effective so i love this product you guys already know i already repurchased it and last but certainly not least is my spray from tatcha this is the du luminous dewy skin mist i finally emptied this out i if you watched that sephora video i did repurchase my favorite glow recipe watermelon spray so i'm using that one currently but my number two, I think, is this spray. I really, really like this spray. I feel like it brings a lot of moisture back into my face. And um, I really, really like it. I think, like I said, it just really gives the skin a really nice moisturized texture. It has a lot of emollients in the spray, like in the actual formula. So it's a really, really good spray. Again, this is pretty pricey, though. I usually only buy this when it's on sale. So... Yeah, but I, I'm not opposed to getting it again because it's a really, really good spray. This is probably like my third bottle that I've gone through over the years. So I do really like it. So yeah, I hope you guys liked my November empties video. It was relatively small compared to other empties videos, but I think that will be very, very different in December. So stay tuned. I have my Black Friday shopping unboxing and haul videos coming up and I plan to do a end of the year declutter. So stay tuned for that. If you're new here, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video and if you would subscribe to my channel and I will catch you all on the next one.